So we're at the home grid booth here at SolarCon 2023. They've got a pretty interesting stackable battery system and Shane's going to tell you a little bit about it, but this is something that will work really well with like a off-grid inverter, hybrid inverter. They've actually worked a lot with Solark in the past. So this is something that's right up our alley as far as backup and off-grid power. So Shane, go ahead yeah. and tell us what is home grid, how does it work, why anyone would want it? So to start, uh, we're part of Lithion. <clears throat> Lithion's been around since the late 90s and has been in lithium iron phosphate for a couple decades. So expert in the chemistry and we have significant financial backing. So we have tons of inventory. Last year, ne never went above a three to four week lead time on all our orders with all of our distributing partners. So we have good stock and availability. But our main value proposition with HomeGrid comes in two main portions. First, the, the capability of the system. When you look at batteries in general, uh, you look at the continuous output, the surge specs, and then the capacity that you can fit in a single form factor. So comparing with, with all other batteries in the market, we're generally one and a half to three times the specs of any other system that you'll find, right? So within all of that capability, the modular design, as you're seeing here, makes the install and future expansion much simpler. If you're thinking, you know, you want to start smaller or, or just whatever system size you start with, as time goes on, if you want to expand or if you in introduce more electrical loads to your home or your project, you want a system that can expand easily. So I'm going to demonstrate this real quick, just how this all works. What you're seeing here is a 9.6 kilowatt hour battery. Our, our minimum size is two modules here. So 4.8 kilowatt hours each. And so what you'll see here is, is just how easy these detach, much like Legos, for example. It's a male and female connecting point. There's no wiring in between each of the modules. Of course, these are demo units, so it's hollow, but this is where all the busing would be. And so you're stacking these about 110 pounds, so it's nice to have two people. But for example, if we just started with this system, right? You put your PMS on top, you connect your positive and your negative power cables to the inverter, a CAN bus for communications, and you're done. This does have Wi-Fi capability as well. And then for those in colder markets, we do have heated modules. So say now we're one, five, 10 years down the road and we want to expand this system. This is what I'm doing here with this module. So what I'm doing is I'm going to pull the BMS off the top. I'll bring the new module, place it on top, put the BMS on. There's a couple of switches, address set switches and, and things you'll do with the inverter, but it is a very quick process. Expanding your system, you can do in less than 15 minutes. And then the BMS itself, mixed with the BMSs in the individual modules, will do the active balancing needed to, uh, to balance the originally installed modules with the newly installed ones. And then our warranty uh, is on our website, but we have an overall throughput warranty of about 14 megawatt hours per module that way you can cover, or you know you have coverage with each module that you expand with you know, in the future. Awesome, so this is definitely super expandable. Yeah. What is the max someone could go to with this system? 576 kilowatt hours. 576 kilowatt so hours, got 48 volts. I didn't say that, huh? So you can go, right, in a single stack, 38 kilowatt hours, mm -hmm. then you can do 15 in parallel. Up to 15, okay, Yeah. very cool. Now, some people are concerned about EMPs, lightning strikes, those kinds of things. Yeah. Is there anything that you guys have worked it's with? It's not a selling point for lithium at all. Okay. And any of our any of our competing brands that's, that have lithium batteries, the best things you can do is, for example, if you have a, an EMP hardened right, Solark, mm -hmm. you know, possible surge protections are, are in place there that would travel through the battery, so it's good to Got have it. that. A Faraday cage is a good option as well. Mm -hmm. but. Beyond that, it's it's really just how, how easy or how available is inventory to replace pieces should they you know yeah. have issues. Okay, right. fair enough. That's the, yeah, the Solark is definitely known for having EMP protection, and generally anything downline from it yeah. has that protection as well. So that's yeah. that's definitely good. Yeah. So can this work with other inverters besides yeah. Solark? Any 48 volt system. Okay. And then it's whether or not we have closed loop comms with. So like. Solark and then the Schneider XW Pro we have closed communications with. Uh -huh. uh, we're working on Victron as well. We're working with Midnight Solar as well. Okay. And then any other any other 48 volt inverter we're we're looking at uh, open cons. Awesome. You know, just an open loop set. So normal life cycles like 3,500 to 6,000 life cycles depending on depth of discharge and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Is there anything else you want to tell the people? No. On the hey, YouTube? I mean we. 
We have all of our uh, all of our reps on our website. Uh, you can find you know all of our contact info, and then we have a great tech support team. Uh, that contact contact info is there as well. So look forward to working there. Awesome. Yeah, Thanks, thank Shane. You. Guys, definitely check it out. I'll have links down below if you're interested in this. It seems like a very well thought out system, and they've been in the game for a long time. So if you're interested, check out the links. Prepare for self rescue. See you on the next one.